exciting because I'm spending the rest of the day packing and prepping for our trip to Greece, which I am over the moon about. I am so looking forward to this trip. It's absolutely a dream come true to even be able to go on this trip. It's something that I've dreamed of for many, many years. So really looking forward to it. And this past week, there's been so much going on with our family, just a lot of family stuff happening. And so I've been quite consumed with that. And, you know, we've been wanting to be there for our family, of course. So I haven't really thought about the trip that much and we did plan it fairly last minute like a few weeks ago so it is sort of a new thing and I want to plan outfits today I want to prep it really just is so much more enjoyable for me on vacation if I know that I planned everything out as best to my ability and I tidied the house and sort of put our ducks in a row so that's what we're gonna spend the day doing I wrote down a bit of an agenda for us of course I want to do a face mask soon and take a shower where I wash my hair and get all like do all the self-care stuff that sounds really nice to do beforehand and then I want to check the weather see what's going on on that front because of course that factors into what outfits I want to bring so we'll check the weather plan the outfits pack toiletries tidy the house a bit pack snacks pack technology and like the camera stuff chargers adapters all that good stuff pack vitamins I also want to clean my makeup brushes we should go ahead and do that first so that they have time to dry fully because I haven't done that in a while and it's always a good idea to have fresh brushes before a trip and then I also want to pick out a comfy airport outfit so that's sort of what's on the agenda but we'll see what else the day brings but I'm really looking forward to spending time with you all is out which I've only used my new suitcase one time for a weekend sort of local trip so it really hasn't been fully tested yet but so far I really really love it I love all the pockets oh I even forgot to use this one <laughs> the last trip we went on so yeah I'm really enjoying it and I have my packing cubes so we'll definitely use that so we can get all organized and our travel pillow which I won't pack in the suitcase but I'll um I'll set it on top of the suitcase and put it around the handle. And then this is a garment bag. I need to understand how to use this. I'm kind of confused by it. I guess you just fold a dress in maybe. You could keep it on the hanger if you wanted, but I don't know. And I don't have to use it if, it, if I don't really feel a need for it. So we'll decide on that later. And one of my first steps with packing is to just lay out all of the obvious pieces that I know for sure I want to take with us. So I kind of started doing that, but I want to go through my closet a little bit more and add to that pile. that are contenders. I'm not necessarily for sure taking all of this. I wanna try it on and plan the outfits and then we'll decide which one's for sure, but 
this is sort of helpful for me to kind of get ideas for outfits. Okay, I'm taking a little packing break to make some iced coffee. I've been looking forward to this ever since I finished my morning coffee. So we'll make ourselves a little treat. I'm just gonna do cold brew with a splash of half and half today. And while we're down here, I figured we could make a little pile of snacks, but unfortunately I didn't really put a lot of thought and in planning into our travel snacks, which it's not a it's not a huge deal. We'll plan to eat dinner before our flight tomorrow night because our flight isn't till 8.50 p.m., like almost 9 p.m. So we'll eat dinner at the airport and then maybe grab a couple of airport snacks. I don't like to buy snacks at the airport because they're so expensive, but I don't know if we'll have time to go to the grocery store or anywhere before that. But we do have some granola bars. So I'm definitely gonna take a few of these, maybe all of them. Let's see. These 88 acres bars are really good. So I'll take three of these. Okay, I'll take four of those. And then, like, even nuts. We're kind of running low on nuts and everything. So, let's see. Oh, yeah, we don't have any nuts left. Zero. So, granola bars it is. We do have a good bit of apples left, though. So... I'm gonna wash us a couple of apples and then we'll have that as well. down here and while it's top of mind I'm gonna pack my vitamins so I don't forget I wish I had a cute little vitamin container but I'll just use a Ziploc bag and the good thing about having the Ziploc bag is that it barely takes up any room so there's a plus but I love those little ones that say each day of the week and it, it just seems very classic to have a vitamin container like that so maybe I'll upgrade one day but for now this is fine so I always love to pack these elderberry immune gummies Elderberry has a lot of benefits, but these gummies are actually really delicious. They taste like candy. It probably would be even healthier to have these vitamins just in pill form instead of gummy, but it's like a yummy treat and you're getting some nutrients, so we love it. And then I'm also taking these multivitamins. They're, pure, they're actually prenatal vitamins and we're not pregnant yet, but I am trying to prepare my body, so I've been taking these and they're made with organic vegetables and fruits and all that good stuff. So I try to take them whenever I remember. So we'll pack these up as well. I like how it's a little rainbow. I'm not sure where I'm going to pack these yet. Maybe I'll try. I should look into a little organizer. I know they have them, which would be very helpful, but I'll have to be a little thrifty and resourceful with it. Maybe I'll tuck them in between clothing, clothing pieces in my carry-on, but I'm definitely going to take this fan. It's not a fanny pack, a purse, crossbody. It is the best for traveling because I can just put my phone right here easily accessible for photos, videos, all of that, and has a good amount of space, even though it is more on the smaller side. The whole family's here. Brandon's packing as well. He just started. And I'm checking the weather for Santorini because that's our first leg of the trip. And while we're there, it's looking pretty fabulous. So highs of 74, 75, lows of 67, 68. So that is quite dreamy. I will say, I'm thinking it might be sort of chilly at night because if it's 67 degrees but also super breezy because of the sea, the sea breeze, then I'm thinking I should definitely try to pack some sort of shawl or cardigan or jacket even. So I'll try to brainstorm and figure out what would work best.
started a quick tiny load of laundry because there were a couple pieces that were dirty that I definitely want to take so that's rolling and then I sort of fell into a quick tidy up sesh because I wanted to make sure the guest bedroom and bathroom were clean because we have someone staying at our house so we have that done which is great and now I feel like I've been procrastinating this a little bit but planning the outfits I already have a good amount of ideas and all of that and not that you need to put pressure on the outfits, but I like to be intentional about it because one, I don't want to overpack and bring clothing items that I know I'm not going to wear. So planning the exact outfits for each day really helps me to not overpack. And I'm just really intentional with it. I'm trying to pull up my note of everything I have planned. So this is sort of an insight of what I have mapped out and how I organize it. So we're going to three different locations while we're in Greece. We're going to Santorini, Milos, and Athens. So I don't have it completely mapped out yet, but I have a little note for each day. So I have day one, day two, day three, day four, day five, day six, day seven. And I wrote down a little bit of anchor points of what we have planned that day if we do have anything planned yet. And so that way I can, I'm more equipped to plan the outfit that would work best because with a, a lot of our plans in Greece, a lot of them are quite adventurous, like outdoorsy hikes, boat rides, exploring. So we definitely need to pack amazingly comfortable shoes and also outfits that are movable, breathable, all that good stuff. But then again, I also want to bring something to keep warm if it is nice and breezy and cool. So it's just a lot of thinking, a lot of planning, and I guess I do put more emphasis on it since I am bringing a carry-on and I want to be able to fit it all. So let's get to it. Let's start trying outfits on. I'm not 100% sure about it almost feels a bit cliche and obvious because it's the same colors as the Greece flag so that's my hesitation but it could be cute for dinner look and you also could dress it down with some sneakers and it is quite comfy so this is actually a rent the runway piece so I don't own this dress so that's also a reason why I kind of want to take it because I'll need to return it soon so we'll see. I'll put this in the probably maybe pile and then if we have enough room, we'll definitely take it because I do love traveling with dresses like this that are more bold and a beautiful print because it's just so effortless. You feel fun and put together, but it's just easy to put it on and call it a day. So, and again, you can dress it up or dress it down. So I'm leaning towards yes, but those, <laughs> that's my full thought process. 
This next dress is a definite yes. I didn't zip it up all the way, but I love the pattern. Also super comfortable. I feel the most comfortable in dresses, so I absolutely gravitate towards them. Again, I just feel like they're super effortless, breathable, and I love that if you are packing light, you can wear it during the day, but kind of zhuzh it up for a nighttime dinner look. So this is actually a maxi. It goes all the way down pretty much, but thankfully it's not too long on me because I do struggle with dresses being a little too long sometimes where they drag on the floor, but this is perfect. This is also a rent the runway piece. wanted to show you I took a picture in each outfit I tried on and so when I'm there and I'm planning my outfits I can have this handy to remember everything I packed and reference it. in a wine glass with some fresh mint from the garden because we are starting our self-care evening so here's the lineup I'm gonna start with exfoliating my skin so I'm gonna use this dry brush and essentially I just brush it throughout my skin and it is supposedly supposed to remove all the dead skin cells and kind of get the blood flowing and it honestly feels quite nice so I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna exfoliate in the shower as well so for that, I have this scrub from Necessaire. So I'm gonna use the body exfoliator scrub and then shampoo my hair. And then I'm gonna come out and I'm going to do this hair mask, the BB Hairdresser's Invisible Oil Mask, and leave that in for about 10 minutes. And while that's in, we can pack our toiletries and get that all set up. And then once I get out, I'm going to do some self tanner and then I'm gonna moisturize. So that's a pretty great self-care lineup if you ask me. I forgot to mention that I'm gonna use this shampoo, the detox shampoo, instead of my regular shampoo because this is really good to kind of get all the dry shampoo out and all the oils and all that good stuff. So we'll do a bit of a detox before our vacation. This is the one I'm gonna do tonight, and I actually keep it in our refrigerator so it's nice and cooling. It's quite lovely.
right, friends, I'm gonna call it a night, get all cozy for bed, but we did quite a bit today. I'm used to having an early morning flight, but our flight isn't till the evening tomorrow, so I feel like I'm in the mindset of, okay, I need to get everything done tonight because I'm not gonna have any time in the morning, but it is sort of nice to have that flexibility where we can get a few things done in the morning, and I definitely wanna go for a super long walk with Palmer because I wanna be able to get some exercise before being on a plane for so long. But again, so super excited and so thankful to be going on this trip. And I cannot wait to show you the adventures, the food, the flair, the culture, everything. I'm just so looking forward to experience it all. And again, I really haven't thought about it much this week. So it's sort of, I'm trying to like get in the mindset that we're gonna be there tomorrow or we won't be there till like a day and a half because of the time difference and travel and all of that. But anyways, thank you so much for watching and spending the day with me. I love and appreciate you all so, so much and I cannot wait to see you next.